Hi, this is Santa Kumar. I'm a SAP Inter Dev guy. Today on uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to get the web information in a SAP and framework web pod using PNP uh, JS Core Component Library. Okay, let's uh, move on to the demo. Okay, I have opened the Dev console. From this console, I'm just uh, navigating to the folder where we are going to create a new SAP and framework project. So I'm just navigating to my demo folder pnp demo okay so here i'm going to create a, a new folder uh, maybe i'm uh, calling it as a get web info and then uh, yeah so from this folder i am just calling a yeoman sap and generator to create a, a sap on framework uh, project and its files so microsoft slash sharepoint it will uh, generate the record files uh, okay before that we have to give some uh, basic information uh, for creating a project so i am just giving a solution name as uh, get web info uh, and then i'm using the can folder so for now i'm just selecting no javascript framework because we are going to uh, use pnpjs for accessing the sapoint data so i'm just selecting no javascript framework and then i'm just giving uh, a report name as uh, get web details okay and then description as okay it is generated uh, now it is generated what are the files record for the, uh, the framework project that is the report project and then it uh, downloads the dependencies record for running and uh, uh, packaging this uh, report so it's downloading a uh, number of files uh, from the node package uh, node open source uh, npm uh, package source it downloads uh, most of the files from them and adds those uh, dependencies to the project folder so it will take some time so we'll wait uh, for some time okay now the for uh, now the project is uh, created uh, under the folder gateway info so if you want to run this folder we uh, run this project uh, we have to run the gulp task um, gulp serve it will open the local workbench and a browser and so the source the um, uh, output Okay, so it's uh, yeah we are on the local workbench now and I am just selecting uh, we have uh, given the report name as get web, web details so I am just selecting get web details so now we got a web port in local workbench so uh, I'm also uh, going to try uh, in the SharePoint workbench page I'm just uh, now my uh, SharePoint online workbench page has been loaded and I'm going to add my uh, get uh, web details report to this page here yeah I'm just selecting so now uh, my report is loaded here okay now uh, we'll move back to console okay now we are going to edit this um, code from the project so I'm the first we have to uh, stop this process by selecting control C and then giving uh, okay now uh, I am going to open uh, the the project in a Visual Studio code by typing code space dot it opens that uh, project folder in a Visual Studio code here there I am going to SRC folder here we are having uh, the source files for the web pod. so I am just selecting get web detail web details dot web pod dot ts okay so before that uh, before editing this we have to add uh, the PNP JS dependency file to this project so I am going to console back and typing npm and show iPhone C dev sp iPhone PNP JS this is the name for the uh, npm package uh, uh, this is a npm uh, package name for the pnp js core library just selecting enter it will take some uh, uh, some few seconds to load 
fan uh, and add this uh, dependency for uh, files to the report project okay now uh, the dependency sp pnp js is added to the uh, node modules folder and the project so i will check that and uh, this i am in visual studio now then uh, selecting node modules load a node modules we'll go and see uh, the name sp yeah we have sp pnp js okay so we have to import this uh, a reference file to our project so i'm just import adding port pnp as sorry, from sp pnp js okay i have okay now we have imported this uh, library to our project folder so i am just changing some uh, html uh, values here js demo and then i'm just removing this tag okay and then i'm just going to uh, uh, remove this also and we are getting some id go to web and go okay and we are going to call we have to we are going to create one uh on private uh, function from that function we are going to call this pnp js library to get the web information so this uh, get web details okay and then i'm going to add private get get web details the return is void okay we have i'm just changing private okay now the error is resolved okay here we are going to call pnp dot esp dot web dot get for now we will uh uh, we'll be showing the uh, current website uh, title. Okay, get dot. Then here the response. And then I'm going to add all uh, the trunk. Okay, we'll be uh, getting the web details and uh, uh, a response a variable okay now we'll be uh, getting the title information from response and then we are going to add that uh, title to the uh, the paragraph element uh, with the ideas uh, web info okay i'm just acting before that i'm just uh, let declaring the html uh, variable and then i am going to add here html is equal to um, response dot title yep and then i am going to add this response to the paragraph element first for that we have to get the uh, web info or paragraph element with the id as uh, web info okay Maybe for that we'll call use constant variable element to type is element this dot dom element dot query selector which will uh, here we are going to give the ID. This will uh, returns the paragraph element. Oh, I'm going back here 
and then I'm just going to use the element dot inner HTML to HTML. Okay, now we'll save this and then we are going to refresh this page, the SharePoint Workbench page because this will uh, won't affect. Okay, there is some problem. Uh, okay, we haven't run this uh, Gulp task. Okay, if you are not running that Gulp uh, serve task, uh, it will uh, return this kind of uh, warning message. And that's a workbench. So normally, uh, in the local workbench, the, we won't get any values because uh, if you want to get a SharePoint data, we have to try it in a SharePoint workbench. So I'm just referencing the SharePoint Workbench page. Now, yeah. Now we see uh, my current uh, SharePoint online site title is uh, WebInfo. Okay. So here, okay. You can see development portal. Now we'll see. Uh, well, now we'll get the URL of uh, this WebInfo. Like. Uh, Maybe we'll add the VR tag here. VR tag and go to a response dot URL. Okay. Now we'll try it in. So I find workbench page. Yeah, now we got it. So at present we are uh, directly typing here. Instead of that, we'll create some interface for the uh, for storing these uh, values, title and URL values. Okay, I'm just returning in from interface web. Okay, and then title as string. You are the last string, okay, and, and then uh, ID will also have ID also string, okay. Once you have that interface, now here because at the at the end we are not if we we didn't get any intelligence. We get dot. We won't get any instance. Now I'm just converting this to web object. Okay. Now we'll get this intelligence URL, and then the same way. Okay. I'm just adding. Your tag here dot id okay uh, here will give as title uh, here will give you all here will give id and then we'll all opening to the HTML. I will go to a site and then refresh the page. Yeah, got it. Okay. I think what we have done is, uh, first of all, uh, after generating the project, we will be uh, adding this SPPNP JS uh, node package to the uh, SharePoint framework project. And then we are importing this uh, uh, SPPNP JS to the project by calling import PNP, yes, a PNP from SPPNP JS. After that, we'll be adding a new private function. From the private function, we are calling this PNP code to get the web information. If we go with uh, the REST API, we have to write a uh, number of lines, it will be greater than this what we are seeing here so it's a very simple one to get the web details like that 
we can add lot of complex uh, uh, functions and a simple line of code by using a pnp js core library thank you for watching this session maybe i'll come up with a lot of new videos in sharepoint framework pnp js and office uh, ui fabric and uh, upcoming days so stay tuned uh, with my social media links which will be uh, visible here yeah, thank you thank you for watching